Uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, in this notebook, you will learn how to tune your samplers, and you'll learn about different aspects of, uh, like, what to look at when you train your HMC or some, something else. Okay, so here you can see that uh, you will have to deal with MCMC. Um, almost everything is implemented for you already. You need just to implement this function which computes acceptance probability. Uh, then we have some functions for plotting different uh, plots like statistics, samples, and so on. You'll need to implement uh, your uh, some distributions. You'll need to uh, code sampling and uh, log density computations. Then you'll need to implement some proposals like random walk metropolis Hastings, uh, Langevin, and HMC with different integration schemes. And then you you conduct some experiments. So uh, first of all, you learn what what to do with rejection rate, which rejection rate is good, which rejection rate is bad. Then you learn how the scale of distributions uh, distribution changes uh, the way you tune your samplers. Uh, you also look at autocorrelation function at the effective sample size, uh, which are the quantities you want to track, and you want the effective sample size to be bigger. Uh, also, you'll learn how MCMC deals with multimodal distributions. Uh, another thing you'll learn is to how to detect the convergence of Markov chain. Uh, You'll learn some other topics about how parameterization of your model uh, kind of changes the way uh, MCMC trains and how you, how you uh, how, how it influences your sampling. Finally, we'll, you will uh, learn about the uh, property of integrators called simplicity, which is kind of approximate energy conservation. And you will uh, look at the HMC and watch how this property uh, defines your sampler and how it changes the samples. And if it's still correct, uh, if you will see if it's still correct sampler, if the integrator is not symplectic. So uh, you can start with this notebook uh, most most of the code is already written for you. Feel free to ask me and my assistants for help. Uh, so, after some time, I will probably show the right code for some uh, parts of this notebook. So, okay. Okay, so if by any chance you have updated your torch to 1.2, uh, they have changed some behavior of Boolean types. So in this uh, step function, you need to add this thing because otherwise it would fail. Zoom in. Um, okay. Uh, I think it's worth ma to make clear. Um, here in HMC, there are Euler function and simple Euler. Uh, so simple Euler is what you have seen on the lecture. And uh, this Euler is so-called symplectic Euler. You can look it up on Wikipedia, for example, but I can also write the formula down here. Uh, okay, let's do this. Mm. 
Oh, I think it's time to show the solution for uh, normal, for log density of normal. Um, where is it? Yeah. So here, what you basically should do is uh, turn self this log prop of x, and then you sum over the last dimension. Uh, pay attention to this sum because uh, the distributions from torch distribution, they are like fully factorized normals. Uh, so to have the full probability of, of x, you should sum over the uh, dimensions. Yeah. Sorry? Uh, for the acceptance prop? <laughs> okay, I think. Well, I think, uh, okay, I'll show the solution for acceptance prop later. So by this time, you have probably uh, already implemented the acceptance prop, but if not, here is the solution, at least for torch wind point one, I think. <laughs> Um, okay, so like, ju just a minute. Um, Okay, so first of all, there was a mistake in the uh, like markdown cell. There should be pi k, but in the code, the comments are correct. So you should uh, have like uneven mixture of normals, like the general case. Uh, so I think uh, you should. You should have probably already implemented the log density for mixture of normals, but here is the solution. If, like, uh, yeah. Uh, there are some questions about energy in HMC. So, uh, in fact, you don't need it, but uh, later, when, like in the last experiment, you will need it to watch how uh, energy, uh, um, how it changes from the initial point. So uh, you'll see how different methods uh, uh, change your Hamiltonian, and is it far or is it close to the initial one? So if you don't implement it, uh, you will basically lose nothing until you come to the end. OK, so if you have done everything correct, you should have uh, you should see something like this for standard normal, for scaled normal, uh, more interesting for mixture of normals and Langevin mixture. Uh, 
So pay attention to the broadcasting in the mixture of normals because some people have uh, like four mods because of broadcasting. Um, yeah, so pay attention to the shapes. Uh, as for the samples, you should see something like this. So for uh, for the random walk, Metropolis Hastings, uh, with low sigma, you have uh, all your samples accepted, but the distribution is not explored at all. With slightly a higher sigma, rejection rate is quite small, but the distribution is much better explored. Uh, the ideal situation happens when you set sigma to one. Uh, you have plenty of well uh, uncorrelated uh, points, and they explore the whole distribution. And if you set sigma too large, the rejection rate will be very big. So most of your samples uh, like got rejected. So you have very s small number of uh, samples left. Yeah, and it's quite the same situation for the Langevin. Uh, so the moral of this story is that you should tune your hyperparameters in such way that rejection rate is not is neither very small and ne not very high. The time of our seminar has come to an end. Uh, you, can, you can download the notebook with the solution. It will be, uh, you can access it via the same link, only it's not MCMC SAM, but MCMC SAM solution. Uh, it will be on GitHub, I think. So, um, so you will see something like uh, these plots, like for scaled distributions, you will see this, like for autocorrelation, you will see that HMC is a bit worse than random walk because of the low dimensionality of the distributions. However, when you consider uh, like 10,000 dimensional distributions, HMC will be way better. And also there are different schemes like NUTs, which uh, require no hyperparameter tuning. They uh, set some adaptive step size and they are much better than the standard uh, standard HMC. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you. It's lunchtime. <laughs>